Boom, boom. Oh, I hate games that don't let you desecrate bodies. Oh, we can throw this at him. Oh, okay. Well, that, that counts as desecration, I'd say. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the hyper futuristic first person shooter set in a world where ancient alien tech is discovered and inspires a high tech nano suit. This, of course, is Crisis. You can see it right here. This game is not only set in a high tech future, it itself is super high-tech game technology. I'll be talking about that in just a moment. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started because there is a, an opening cinematic here and I'll be able to talk over it and give my uh, opening spiel. So uh, this is a first-person shooter. We get to select difficulty mode. Highlights attackers, driver-controlled guns, simple binoculars, enemies speak English. Um, <laughs> oh, interesting. So like in harder difficulties, the enemies don't speak English? What, what happens here? Enemies speak English. Uh, enemies speak Korean. Whoa, in the hard mode, the enemies don't even speak English. It's actually kind of awesome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play on easy, though, because I definitely don't have the chops in this game to go on hard. I've never played this game before. I do like first-person shooters. I'm a big fan of Halo, um, traditionally. Not so much Call of Duty, and so I guess I kind of split the difference in terms of being a big first-person shooter um, fan. But I definitely am not good enough to play this game on a hard difficulty mode, so we'll just go ahead with uh, normal. This game is from uh, EA, which is one of the most hated companies ever, so we'll get that out of the way right away. But this game, as you can see, so we're getting in this opening cinematic, kind of a really cool cinematic view of the nanotech suit that it is at the heart of the Crisis games. So, in Crisis, you take on the role of a hero named, named Jake Dunn, um, also known as Nomad, that's his call sign, and you can see there's a nanotech that's going into his literal blood, little pellets that are like toughening up his bones, he can run fast, he can punch hard, he can shoot plenty of bad guys. It's like if you ever had the fantasy of being uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in a uh, action movie, like look, even his muscles are enhanced by the nanotechnology. Uh, this suit makes it possible. So, in this story, in this game, you are fighting the North Koreans and aliens. Freaking North Korea, man. They ally with evil aliens bent on destroying all of humanity or something like that. I don't actually know all the details of the plot. Um, but, oh, and look, you're even bulletproof. Bullets just bounce off your rubbery hide. Um, that's kind of cool. This nanosuit tech, by the way, was inspired by real super soldier tech that, uh, you know, the U.S. government's been working on for, for years. They don't have anything this advanced, obviously, but uh, the idea of having an exoskeleton that would enhance soldiers is a concept that not only has been around in fiction for a while, but it's, it's legit something that, uh, you know, real governments are actually working on, so who knows. Maybe in 200 years this won't be sci-fi anymore. This will literally be the face of war, um, and here he is. Boom. He looks pretty badass, I'll tell you. Some kind of like evil ninja. Um, in all these first person shooter, sci fi, futuristic things, you need to have like a good looking hero, you know? Like Master Chief looked awesome, um, and this guy looks totally awesome. Uh, so, anyway, we're parachuting in to uh, attack the North Koreans, um, and we're going to have to uh, put the pain on them. August 7th, 2020, guys. That's not far off. If my calculations are correct, which means that uh, this is more of a documentary of things to come than anything else. Okay, we're getting more opening cinematic. We're going to jump right into the gameplay seven days later. I don't know what happened seven days ago. I don't want to know, frankly. I just want to get in there with my gun and kick some, kick some butt. So we're in the Philippine Sea, August 14th, 2020. Let's go ahead and see what's happening on the ship here. Now uh, from the first person perspective here. Okay, so this game was made uh, years ago. Actually, damn it, I didn't write down the exact date that it came out. But the claim, to, the big claim to fame for Crisis is that it was way ahead of its time when it came out. Uh, Crisis uses something called the Crytek uh, engine, and it's considered a super advanced, ahead of its time 
gaming engine. You know what I liken it to? Have you guys seen Batman Beyond? In Batman Beyond, Batman from the animated series, he's like 50 years old and he's developed like a, a, a technological bat suit to fight crime, but he gets too old to use even that, so he retires. And then like 20 years later, a new kid shows up, or 30 years or something like that. He shows up, steals the bat suit, and goes and starts fighting crime with it. And the bat suit is still relevant 30 years later. It was so high tech when it was created, 30 years later, it's still high tech. So I consider that to be the Crisis Engine. When this game came out, the game was so advanced that virtually no computers could run it on its highest setting. It was unfeasible for the average consumer to own technology powerful enough to run this game as it was designed to be run. So it took years, years before game computers were good enough to actually play this game. So I'm playing this game obviously years after it came out, so I'm playing it on its highest settings. But when this game came out, you would not have seen it like this. It's a, such an interesting idea. Such, so, such an interesting sort of genesis of it. So the idea is they want they were trying to capture photorealism in this game. They introduced all these really dynamic uh, shading effects and, and all these, these different dynamics to kind of like make the game look uh, photorealistic. And the game company's even gone on the record as saying that, uh, you know, this game, uh, you know, photorealism is necessary for good games, which is actually something I disagree with. I think that games with really old dated technology with and pixel art and stuff can be just as fun as uh, games that, that don't have it, but whatever. Anyway, our parachute has, has failed to open. Oh, we slammed into the water at 88 miles per hour. But lo and behold, we seem to have somehow survived. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off night vision here. I, my guy seems to see pretty well at night with the vision on or off. Like, night vision doesn't really add anything but a cool factor. So we're going to go ahead and leave it off. Um, so I guess I got separated from my squad, so now we're going to have to go on the run around solo until we meet up with them. That's okay. Hey, look, a turtle. There's a turtle. We could... Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. I, I thought I was going to punch the turtle to death. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We can get mano a mano. You and me, turtle. You and me. He's not afraid of me, but he should be. Um, and here's a boat. Oh, we have a bunch of mission objectives. Our suit is booting back up. That's good. All right, I think our commander is checking out our suit right now. Uh, hold mouse three to access suit functions. Oh, interesting. What do these things do? Um, oh, look. Oh, we can upgrade our gun. Silencer, yes. Flashlight, that might give us away. Tactical attachment. I don't know what that is, but sure. Reflex sights. Let's go with it. Switch to sleep bullet fire mode with X when... Whoa, sleep bullet? Whoa, okay. You got it, okay. What does this do? Okay. I, I don't understand what any of that did. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um... <laughs> so this game was super, super, super advanced when it came out. It's still advanced. You know, like, we're playing it now in the future, and, like, look at this game. Like, it, it doesn't look that bad considered, compared to modern games. It holds it quite well. It's like the Batman Beyond Batsuit. Um, the, the technology was so good that, actually, not only was this game, you know, popular for being, like, a popular first-person shooter, but it was, it was, its sort of claim to fame was that every time a new gaming computer came out, people would always ask the question, can it run Crisis? Like, it literally became like a benchmarking software. You would run Crisis on your new high-tech gaming rig and see what level setting you could run it on, and that would determine whether or not you had a good computer. So can it run Crisis? That was actually a thing, um, which kind of makes me excited to play this game today. Uh, I gotta admit, I've never played it before, heard a lot about Crisis. It, it always looked interesting to me. Like, again, being a fan of Halo... This one sort of has, like, the sci-fi elements, too. You have, like, an awesome-looking cyber suit. Um, T is to melee. Okay. So make sure your silencer is attached, I think is what the guy just said to us. Um, so, yeah, I've always been a fan of, like, super soldiers and mega armor going around causing causing trouble. Oh, look, did that not kill that guy? He's immune to bullets at the back of the head? Not only a headshot, but the, the back of the head. That's That's hardcore, man. That guy was tough. We're not going to let anyone else get away with those shenanigans. We're going to kill these guys from a distance. Oh, I think we actually got a guy. They're like hopping over like barrels to get away from me. The meter on the radar shows enemy alerts. All right. Are they alerted to my presence? I killed a couple of them, so you got you to gotta imagine that they'd be semi-alert. Oh, there's a guy. 
So, yeah. Um, he should... See how he's kind of glowing? Yeah, there we go. So the enemies will highlight in this game. At least on the level of difficulty that I'm playing on here. Um, can Oh, I can take his gun. I have a feeling my gun's better. I'm going to stick with my gun for right now. We can run. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm seeing some pop-in of rocks. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe, maybe I'm not even playing this. Not, maybe my computer, even today, can't handle the highest setting. Um, that That is quite possible. This is Crisis, after all. Um, it kind of makes me wonder, like, how they developed this game. Like, how do you develop a game that's so good that mo that no computer can run it? Like, how do you know it even works on a good computer? That's, that's what, what I would like to know. Um, it may maybe Crisis isn't as good as everyone makes it out to be. It's just sort of, like, not really optimized. Like, they never really optimized it all that well. Um, I can pick this up, can't I? Oh, and I can throw it at guys. Oh, my God, I'm going to throw a branch at this guy. It'll be the ultimate punk. Oh, wait, he's on our team. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, we, we hit him with it, too. Oh, that's awesome. Um, this game is famous also for having destructible environments. So hopefully we'll get to see some big explosions where we uh, demolish walls or cliffs or whatever. I just want to destroy whatever I can. Aztec, talk to me. Mother is not fixing up. Aztec, sound off now. Don't give me the Don't give me the Don't give me the Don't give me the All right, we're following this guy through the jungles. While we hear people dying on our radio, which makes me think we're already messing up our mission. Man, I just got here. I know you you don't you might not know this, but I personally have a history of messing stuff up. But I would like this to be an exception. Oh, what the heck? How did he jump like that? Hold on, how do I jump like that? It's gotta be a way. Yeah. No? Okay, maybe maybe I'll just walk up here. Dude, how did how did you turn mega jump mode on? Your armor glowed there, man. They did normally. They've been giving me tooltips every time they a uh, new thing opens up. But uh, this guy's keeping that secret to himself. Eh? Not cool, man. We're supposed to be a team. There's no I in team. You know that saying has always kind of bothered me. There's no I in team because there is a me. Team T E. Wait T E A M. <laughs> I can spell. I swear. But there's an E and an M. So there's me. So yeah, there's no I in team, but that that saying that saying never it always sort of like irked me a little because every time I hear someone say it, I'm like, yeah, but there's a me, man. You're just not thinking creatively enough. You can be selfish if you're creative. Anyway, it looks like a couple of soldiers got totally messed up here. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I might have been the one who shot them from a distance. I haven't exactly been uh, monitoring whether it's friend or foe I've been shooting. I've just kind of been shooting everyone. He's not listening to me. That's okay, though. I don't like this, man. He, do he doesn't like what's going on. He's very nervous. These nano suits are interesting because it looks like we have muscles on the outside of our body. Oh, yeah, there's a high-rendered butt for you in the Crytek engine. A butt that was 10 years ahead of its time. Oh, God. Hey, he's missing an arm, too. Okay. Well, we found we found the third guy of our little our little uh, trio here. I don't he know. He didn't make it. But I don't think we're alone out here. Also, dude, you're in the most advanced, t uh, you know, like nanotech suit that is known to man. Why wouldn't you put the face protector on on your helmet? Like my partner here, he's he's even got his goggles up. Like, I, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but it seems it seems reckless. That's something you always see in movies, where, like, uh, you know, action heroes always take their helmets off in the middle of war. That is the dumbest thing to do. In oh, what's happening to him? Oh, my God. He just evaporated into another realm of existence. Is that something that happens when we die in these suits? Nobody told me that. He, he looks completely unfazed by that. Okay. Well, whatever. Maybe they did that to prevent the nanotech suit from falling into uh, enemy territories. Uh, in suit strength mode... Strength jump. In suit strength mode. Um, oh. Oh, these are the different suit modes. Interesting. Okay, hold on. What are all these things then? Um, oh my god, there's stealth mode? <laughs> Holy crap, I'm like the predator. What is this? This is shield mode. This is fast mode. Oh my god. Okay, we're going predator on this guy. Whoa. That's awesome. That's awesome. Is this guy a good guy or bad guy? Well, he looks Korean, so we're going to give it to him. Oh, yeah. 
That was sweet. Um, is this guy Korean? He looks Korean. I'm just gonna kill everyone who looks Korean. I have nothing against Koreans, but apparently the North Koreans are my enemy on this one. So, uh, so we're going for it. North Koreans and aliens, man. Deadly alliance, if ever there was one. Okay, let's go into speed mode. Speed mode. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look how fast you run. Damn. That is really cool. Okay, and then see the blue bar at the bottom is regenerating. Neat. Oh, man. Cool. Okay, so a little, little uh, history with this game is that I actually, for a long time, wanted to play this game with a friend of mine. Uh, this game came out, so, you know, you play this game on PC, you can play it on, like, the, the most awesome settings, you know, ever conceived of by humanity. But there was a PlayStation 3 version of this. I don't know how it compared to the PC. Probably it did not look as detailed and so on. Um, oh, yeah, look at this. Zoom in on all these people. Man. Um, so it probably didn't look as good as the PC version. Oh, he's peeing! Okay, we don't need to see that. Uh, can we snipe him? Oh, what the hell? They see me. Okay, well, they they can't shoot with the can hits. Too fast for them. Now I'm too invisible for them. I'm gonna kill that peeing guy. Oh, he's not even looking at me. Do, 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 do. Bruh! Oh, shoot. <laughs> I knew that was an explosive barrel. I wanted to shoot it. I didn't realize how close I was. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this once more. Um... Anyway, I wanted to play this game on PS3 with a friend of mine. Uh, we used to play a lot of PlayStation 3 games together. We played a lot of Uncharted together. We, we were big fans of, like, co-op games, but we weren't really big fans of uh, competitive. Um, we, we had our, the most fun together, and we played, like, uh, on the same team. So we, we really were interested in uh, Crisis here because it looked like the exact kind of game that we would have enjoyed playing, but there's no, comp there's no cooperative game modes in this, which actually kind of blows um like i'm all for you know making like good competitive multiplayer i'm not a big fan of it myself but like i get it like a lot of people really enjoy that and to be fair although i don't usually play competitive multiplayer like i do have some fond memories playing some games uh competitively with friends so i get it i get it uh but oh damn it okay I i'm just rushing into battle not really like planning anything let's actually plan this a little bit so i don't die stupidly um so I, I get the, the whole competitive multiplayer, but at the same time, like, having some co-op modes never hurt anyone. And one thing that I, I think one of the reasons, like, I, I usually go on and on and on about Halo whenever I'm playing a first-person shooter, but I think one of the reasons I really liked Halo over the years is that you could play the entire campaign um, cooperatively. So the entire campaign was open to playing two or three or even four players, which is totally awesome. Um, I've always thought that, like, almost every first-person shooter should do that. Like, why would you not allow co-op for the um, for the the campaign? Because it doesn't really add all that much. You have to play around with a couple of the, like, level triggers, probably. But other than that, like, I could totally see that this game couldn't support co-op play locally. Oh, shoot! I died again? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, you know, this game, it, it's being rendered at such a high level that I understand there's not enough computing power maybe in the PS3 to support local co-op. That's fine. But, like, internet co-op, I mean, it should have had that. Um, and the PC version should have had that, too. That would have been totally awesome. But, uh, alas, nope, it does not. So, um, you know, it is, it is what it is, but it is a little sad, I will say. So, that's one of the reasons I never really, uh, never really played this game. Oh, my God. Okay, we have to, like, actually do this one correctly here. Because we're dying too stupidly here. Okay. Let's just wait. We have to destroy the GPS or whatever it was. Oh, there's guys coming in over there. Okay. Okay. Let's try this. Let's actually take advantage of our abilities and not use them stupidly. So we're going into stealth mode here. Boom! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got you too, buddy. We got you too. Send Kim Jong Un my my regards. Oh, there's what the hell? They're like flanking me. Die, 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 die. Oh man, these guys are just like ping ponging all over. Oh man, 
They're like falling on tables, breaking fences. Pretty cool, you can just like mess stuff up. Hmm, okay, I, sh I should probably not be wasting bullets though. That'll be like the next thing that gets me. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> okay, so there's a guy over there and like a big gun. So how about this? Let's wait till we're charged and we'll go in stealth mode and we'll sneak up to him. I think the boat is gone. Can we blow that up? Boom! Yeah, we can. Um, this game, by the way, or sorry, uh, the Crytek engine, by the way, not only powered the Crisis games, but also the Far Cry games, which are another set of games that, like, I've barely played. Um, oh, is that the GPS? Okay. Oh, my God. Energy critical. Duck. <laughs> Stay hidden. Um, oh, God, you bastards. Let's kill this guy. Oh my god, he's still alive. God, this is really bad. I'm just like out in the open, like taking it. We might have got him though. No. Nope. Okay, how is he not dead? Oh, we got him. We totally got him. We're out of bullets, but we got him. Oh, now, and now the boat goes away. All right, we gotta do this the old fashioned way. Um, like this. Oh, what's going on with this guy? Look at him. He's like, he's, he's so excited. He's antsy. Boom. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Now, can we hop in this thing? Enter vehicle. Enter vehicle, F. Oh, we're just like sitting in the, no, I don't wanna like sit in the car, I wanna like actually get in the gunner seat. Can I do that? Enter vehicle. How about can we drive the vehicle? Oh, we can. All right, sweet. Let's uh, drive it over here and smash into stuff. Okay, that's. Not super exciting. Okay, how do I destroy this thing? Do I just shoot it? Is this doing it? All right, I can't figure out how to destroy this thing. I should have been listening to the uh, instructions. Damn it. Oh, wait, there it goes. Okay, so I'm totally out of bullets. Let's see about these guys that I killed. Take. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to like upgrade or downgrade in this case to their guns. Because I wasted all the bullets on my good one. Can I... Um, oh, we can put like a silencer. Might as well put a flashlight on. Because like these guys... There, there's no hiding from these guys anymore. Okay, there we go. Boom. I just happen to have all the right equipment to make this gun awesome. Cool. Alright. Are there any other guns though? I thought I killed like a billion of these guys. Where'd all their guns go? Need ammo. Um, take the ammo. Oh, this is one of these games where, like, you have to pick up the guns manually. Not a huge fan of that, I'll say. Okay. Now let's enter the vehicle. And change view. There we go. Now we can actually see what's going on. Okay, let's see about... <laughs> oh my god, I'm, like, stuck on a can or something. Oh, look, you can, you can actually mount the turret. So, so imagine if this was co-op. You could be playing this with a friend, and imagine how cool that would be. It'd make the game quite a bit cooler, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, Far Cry is not a game that I've played a lot, but it uses the same engine. So one thing that's interesting about this company is they produce the Cry engine, you know, Crytek, it's, and they produce Cry Sys and Far Cry. Like everything, oh, you can knock trees over? Oh my god, <laughs> the uh, Jeep blew up. Okay, not only can you knock over jeeps, but you can also explode your own truck. All right, noted. Okay, this time, we're gonna shoot these guys with their own truck, hoisted by your own petard. Okay, so now, I think I'm going in the wrong direction, by the way. Where am I supposed to go here? I should be following the radar. Oh god, the tree's gonna fall on me! Oh my god, don't damage, don't damage me too much. I don't even know how to tell. Oh wait, damage is 12%. I was gonna say, I don't know how to tell if this car is damaged or not. But, oh, there's like chickens on the beach and stuff. Okay, I, I guess I, I beached it. Oh, there's like fish and stuff too, wow. And look at those water, those like ripple effects when you're like under the water. The whole world looks ripply. This is what I mean about them adding like all sorts of like interesting effects to the game. Okay, there's a boat over there. I'm gonna try like swimming underneath it and then like popping up and killing everyone on the boat. 
I'm gonna have to come up for air periodically. I don't know if they see me or not. Oh, they see me. Those jerks. They knew I, they, they saw me swimming around over there, but now they can't see where I am. Like, where the hell do you go? Okay, here we go. Oh, they see me. The jig is up. The jig is up. Um, can I get on the back of your boat here? Get in! Get in! Get in! Oh, I'm like getting cut up by the rotors. Okay, this is awkward for everyone involved. They're like, he's trying to get on the boat! Got it! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I did it! I didn't think I'd be able to do this! Whoa! It worked! It worked! Awesome. Alright, there's some crabs. We're gonna beach this baby. We're gonna beach this mama so that she can never be used for evil again. Alright, oh, let's actually check real quick for weapons. Um, okay, he's got a gun on him, but it won't let me grab it. Whatever. Um, let's switch to... No man, get to that checkpoint. Use run speed mode. Oh, it said, it said get to the checkpoint by speedboat. Uh, ah, damn it! Hold mouse 3 to access suit controls. Oh, man. Okay. So, I, I'm having fun messing around this game, but, like, I'm probably doing the first level, like, really poorly. Um, like, I mean, just blatantly driving a truck into the ocean is actually not a good strategy, as it turns out. Um, I know I'm, I know I'm kind of, like, doing this sloppily, but I'm kind of, like, just messing around, having fun at the same time. So, hopefully this isn't too painful to watch, but, uh, I could see how it could potentially be painful. How about this? Oh, look, we can swim fast, too. Man, my guy is, like, a superhero. Also, I feel like, you know, everything you want to do is, like, easy to figure out. This game actually has fairly intuitive controls, I would say. Like, all things considered. All things considered. Copy, Prophet. Okay, I, he gave me orders and my guy's cop, my guy copy, but I actually kind of, truthfully, wasn't really paying attention. hi -oh! oh, what happened there? I swam high speed into the face of... I, like, bashed my face right into the boat. Okay. This... This time. Let's try not driving the truck. Let's try not blatantly driving into the ocean. If it happens by accident, we'll accept it. Like, I, I think it just happened. Oh, my God. Okay, well, whatever. And let's take uh, super fast mode here. And all right, so we're gonna we're gonna move along the beach. And we're actually gonna do this correctly. Hey oh, interesting. I like how um, the enemies speak either English or Korean. It kind of reminds me of how again. Oh my God, jeez. Okay, you die really easily in this game. I guess I'm assuming I have more health than I actually do. Um, but it reminds me, surprise, surprise, of Halo. <laughs> um, in Halo, uh, the enemies speak English in some of the games and then they speak their own language in other games. I think it ran over a chicken there. Um, and it's actually kind of cool to like um, listen to the enemies talk because the things they say actually are relevant to like what's happening in the game. They're like, he just went out behind a rock, go get him. And then like a couple enemies will like come to get you, you know, like it's enemies barking orders at each other. I wonder if, I wonder if here in crisis, if the enemies do that too. And, it, and if so, it's kind of interesting on the harder difficulties. If they're speaking Korean, you can't... Unless you speak Korean, you wouldn't know what they're saying. So, um... Interesting. So, actually, that's that brings up an interesting point, which is that if you actually speak Korean, then there's no... Even on the hard difficulty, you know what the enemies are saying. But uh, to an English speaker, to like a, you know... <laughs> just, just an average, you know, white dude who doesn't speak any Korean... Um, there's a difficulty level in which you don't know what the enemy is saying. You know what they should do is have like a fake Korean setting so that if you speak Korean, you can play the game on that setting and the enemies will speak in gobbledygook. And that way you can get, you can sort of simulate what it's like for someone else playing on, diff on a high difficulty where they can't actually understand what the enemy is saying. You know what I mean? Like, because <laughs> if you speak Korean, the enemy speaking Korean doesn't, doesn't matter, you know? Anyway, um, alright, we have successfully stumbled upon the enemy. There being two dicks over here. Try and, like, hit them from afar. Wish I had a sniper rifle. I think I got him. 
I think there's like one more dude hanging around right over here. Oh, no, I did not get him. Oh, there, there's the other guy though. Oh yeah, eat it. Okay, buddy. He's just unloading, all right. That's what stealth was made for. Oh, what, how can he still see me? I'm, I'm clearly invisible. Okay, well that's what running fast was made for. I'll wait till I heal and then I'm just gonna like bolt. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, no, no, run, run! <laughs> shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Shoot him before he shoots you! Oh my god! That was not a great strategy as it turns out. So, okay, in this game you have regenerative health that regenerates really quickly, but you also don't have a lot of hit points. So you'll die really fast, but you'll regenerate that health really quickly too. It's kind of interesting actually. Very different from... God, I gotta stop talking about it, but Halo! <laughs> where you have like a shield that can actually take a fair amount of damage, but it does take a while to uh, regenerate, you know? So, interesting, but different game mechanic here. Let's see if we can run guys over. Boom! Yeah, we did! Oh, that guy just fell. Oh, bullets to the back! Oh, and like a tree fell down. I'm digging it, man. Where's your gun, man? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get in the cover, get in the cover. Jeez, talk about a close call. I feel like this truck is gonna explode. Hold on, can we get into the gunner seat and gun these guys down? Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Oh, it worked! It actually worked! <laughs> okay. Um, all right, we're doing okay, I think. We're doing okay. Whoa, I forgot I had fast run mode on. Okay, here's a boat. We can straight up just take this boat, right? Wait, there's a yellow guy, like, right here. Who is this? It's an, it's an enemy? Okay, I don't know why you were showing up on my radar, but you did. You're dead now, though. Um, all right, we successfully have stolen a boat that seems to be beached. <laughs> okay, can we can we push it back into the water? What's uh, melee T? Okay, oh wait, I have an idea. Let's take one of these uh, Jeeps here and we'll push it into the water. All right, that'll work, right? That'll work. This is like uh, an adventure game where things make sense. You know, like in adventure games, you need to find like bubble gum and a cat to like get the boat in the water. Well, in action games, things just make sense. If you need a boat in the water, you ram it with a jeep. Like this. Oh, yeah. See? That, that's like the equivalent of a Sierra puzzle in an adventure, in a, <laughs> an action game. All right, we have our boat. Let's go do boaty things. We're going to skip that beach over there because I died there last time. So they want us to go in that direction. Somewhere over there, around the hill. All right. I wish I could get like a top-down view here. This like at the back of the boat view kind of is annoying. Okay, so I gotta go in here, I guess. I'm gonna leave the boat in the water so that I can actually use it to get away. Hey, look, little chickens! Yeah, <laughs> we killed a chicken. We're eating tonight, boys. Can we pick it up. Oh my God, we can pick it up. Throw a chicken at these guys. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't realize they were your chickens. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Kill, 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 kill. I'm getting shot from behind. Oh, it's a boat. Damn it. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, well, at least it starts us off back here. How about this? These guys are actually proving to be more deadly than I thought. So I'm going to beach the boat. Or I won't beach it, but I'm going to, like, get out. And then I'm just gonna like run for it over here. I'll just try and like avoid detection. They'll, they'll, they'll like stumble upon this boat on shore. They'll be like, "What the heck? Whose boat is this?" And then like I'll be like miles away in the jungle by the time they figure it out. Okay, there's a guy over here, I think. If, if my radar is correct. Oh, forget it. We're going over here, man. Um. Oh, we gotta go up that cliff. We ran into a KPA checkpoint up here. Hmm. You're gonna need some firepower to get past it. Stock up on grenades if you can find them. Oh, I would love to stock up on grenades. Do you have any tips on where to find such a thing? Oh my god, I hear guys though. Oh my god, I hear grenades. Okay, I got one guy. Oh, run for it! Hey, look, a house. 
Are we in like a... Oh no, this... No, there's not a house. Oh my god, there's a bunch of guys though. Bunch of guys! Okay. Maybe they live here. Maybe this is their version of a house. Uh oh, I'm out of bullets. Oh, I'm, I'm really out of bullets. Oh! Just beat him to... Pistol whip him to death! Okay, and then grab some ammo, man, because we are hurting for bullets. Oh my god, there's more guys. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay. We're, we're so desperate for, for ammo, it's not even crazy. Or, it's not even funny. Um, wait, I want the machine gun. Oh, wait, they all have shotguns now. Okay, fine, I'll take the shotguns. Shotgun. Um, oh my god. Where do you find... Hey, there's a bottle. We could pick up the bottle and throw it at someone. Yeah! Okay, but I need to have a gun that has ammo. Okay, forget about this. Oh my god. Do I have... No, okay, I have, I have eight shotgun shells. Okay. Let's make them count, boys! Make them count! Oh, yeah! Okay, one down. We're just luring them all to the shanty town and then like commandoing them one by one. Boom! All right, we got one more. The shotgun is actually super satisfying. Anyone else want to come out and play? Cock a doodle doo, bitches! That's like the least intimidating uh, banter that any action hero has ever spouted. But uh, guess what, guys? It works. Oh God! Oh, get down! <laughs> Jeez. It's like a, I was trying to like strafe away from him. And there's a barrel in the way. It's interesting to think like how far games have come since Quake. Like I remember, I still remember playing Quake on like my friend's 386 VGA computer and thinking like, man, nothing's gonna be able to top this. There's a guy over there too. But like now, look at what we're doing. Like we're playing games that are like getting so photorealistic. Like, you know, they're they're like competing with reality at this point. I mean, maybe not. Crisis 1 anymore as advanced as Crisis 1 was um, and still is by by like many standards you know like we have Crisis 2 and 3 at this point and we have even more advanced games boom oh yeah he just flew he flew all right oh there's more guys where are these guys coming from they show up on my radar which is nice um and I only have eight shells left it's okay I only need eight shells where is this guy Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, my God, I'm like almost dead. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. This shotgun is my lifeblood. If I did not have this shotgun, I would be totally dead by now. Okay, but I think I have killed enough guys. Um, oh, there we go. We can have the shotgun. I think, and the machine gun. Boom! Okay, because the shotgun is actually super handy. Okay, we're gonna take this and this. Where are all the other guys that I killed? This. Oh, look at. No, now we're flush with ammo. There's a guy over here that I killed too. I don't know where his gun is. Anyone else? Here's a gun. Man, we're, we're good. I kind of want more shotgun ammo, oddly enough. Take the pistol. Why not? Okay, anything else? Oh, look, the whole wall collapsed. Oh my god! I didn't even notice this happen. Huh. Oh, man! That was totally worth two shotgun shells. Boom! Boom! Okay, we're, we're just trying to, like, punch this wall down. I don't think it's gonna happen. But look, you can demolish a whole shack. Talk about destructible environments. I'm excited to see what else we can blow up. Okay, they said stock up on grenades. But, like, I I don't see a single one. Wait. Yo. Speak of the devil. F three frag grenades. G to throw a grenade. Okay. Uh, I could blow up this shack. But, you know, we're going to save the grenades. We only have three of them. We're actually going to save them for, um, you know, when we actually need them. Oh, we have two pistols now. That's pretty cool. But we have, like, no ammo. So, not going to be using the pistols anytime soon. So the one thing I would say is I wish you auto-picked up ammo. I wish you auto-picked up ammo. Maybe there's a setting where you can turn it on. Are you kidding? Did we get him? I think we got him. Did we get him? <laughs> we might have got him. Okay, let's go into stealth mode. He'll never see us. They're like, I think I we got him. Whoa! 
Oh god, he was right behind me! Oh no! Oh no! Punks. Alright, don't forget to pick up their ammo. Ooh, shotgun ammo. That is the best ammo. What's this guy got over here? Anything? I mean, the other thing is, like, I wouldn't mind having to pick up their gun if it wasn't so hard to find their gun. Um, okay, we, we got tons of ammo for the machine gun. We're pretty good on the shotgun. I like our weapon loadout. I feel like it's a good loadout. Um, oh, I guess we're, I guess we're killing this guy with pistols. Um, or only one pistol. Okay, hold on. There we go. We got him. Um, so, yeah, I've talked about how advanced this engine is. How about I throw a few numbers at you guys while we sort of clean up, clean up the rabble around here. So, Far Cry here, or not Far Cry, Crisis, Crisis here, Crisis 1, used the Crytek, the Cry Engine 2, which is Crytek Technologies. Sounds like Stark Industries. The, the Cry Engine 2, by the way, has one million lines of code, one gigabyte of texture data, 85,000 shaders, 3K pages of code, more big numbers. Are you impressed yet, puny human? The Cry Engine 2 has all the good numbers. It is. Oh, yeah, look at that. And you need all the good numbers to render an explosion that awesome. How are these guys still alive? A barrel exploded in front of them. Oh, God, I think they're shotgunning me. They figured out my, my one Achilles heel. Shotgun blast. Oh, my God. Get in the cover, get in the cover, get in the cover. Damn it. I was too busy talking about the the gillion gigaquads power of the Cry Engine 2. Are we back over here? Damn it. Oh, man, we, we actually went back, like, a fair amount. That sucks. I should pay more attention here. Oh, God, these guys are totally going to kill me, aren't they? Oh, they totally did. You die so fast. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, an engine way ahead of its time. It, it's, again, still still interesting to think, like, how did they design an engine that required this much horsepower when, like, you couldn't even really buy a computer? That I mean, they must have had development computers that, that were, like, just insanely advanced or something like that. Um, I might have killed that guy. And uh, the engine, you know, like, ran on those, but, like, no consumer would be able to afford a game like uh, a computer to play this. Sucker! All right. Let's uh, pick up our shotgun ammo and our F-71 or whatever. Um, now, let's actually go into shotguns, because I feel like the... The machine gun is like uh, not not doing as well. So yeah, like I I've often wondered like, okay, so imagine today somebody made basically a modern version of Crisis, not necessarily like this game or this storyline, but imagine they made a game that used an engine that was so advanced that like no modern computer could run it. Like, what would that game even look like? You know, like look at the like it looks pretty damn good already. Like the textures and the grass and stuff like that. Um, and also, like, are we ever going to hit a point where, like, literally games are now just photorealistic and there's nothing left to do? Like, eventually we have to max out technology, right? Like, eventually, it won't it be the case that, like, we will be able to create, like, photorealistic games and it's, like, every computer from, like, your mom's work laptop to, like, your gaming home rig will be able to play it? You know, like, there was a time when you needed a good computer to run Doom. Now, like, every computer runs Doom and it's, like, a joke, you know? Like, like... Like, Doom is made for calculators now. Like, our calculators are so powerful. Um, so I, I just wonder, like, when will when will games and 3D technology become so good that it's indistinguishable from reality? And then what do you do at that point? Like, there is no more innovation in terms of, like, uh, creating, uh, you know, new and better games. Oh, this guy just took a, took a nap. He just took a sit-down. Boom, boom. Oh, I hate games that don't let you desecrate bodies. Oh, can we pick this guy up? Oh, we can throw this at him. Oh, okay. Well, that, that counts as desecration, I'd say. Um, but I really wanted to, like, shoot bullets into his face. There was some old DOS game where you could do that. Where you could literally blow parts of a guy's skull away um, after you killed him. Like, this game's good. You can blow up the, the train and all that. But I want to, like, literally mutilate his face. And I can't do it. it. Makes this game feel disappointing. Okay, we should throw a grenade or something at this thing, I think. They were talking about grenades before, so here we go. Grenade. Okay. Do it. Did that do it? I think so. Okay, I, I don't know what happened here. 
I guess it's done. Whatever. Um, we seem to have different spots on our radar. Oh, and there's there's guys down there. Okay, let's go around this way and kill them. Um, but yeah, one day, one day, won't video games all be photorealistic? Um, and as I said at the beginning of the video, you know, the company that makes uh, you know the Crytek games and and CryEngine and stuff, like their motto is they want things to be photorealistic. That's how that's the best games are photorealistic. I I disagree with that. I I think that yeah, like it is awesome to play photorealistic realistic games like this. But I wouldn't not play a game because it had pixel graphics. Some of my favorite games have pixel graphics, you know? Like, um, And what's going to happen the day when uh, games all of a sudden all are photorealistic? Does that mean that from now on every game is going to look like uh, a movie with actors? No, like they're still going to be like stylized. Uh, they're still going to be stylized video games. In the same way that even though we could make every movie uh, live action... We choose to make some movies using animation. We choose to make some movies using, uh, you know, CGI and, like, have them be very stylized and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't think photorealism is necessarily the be-all, end-all to all things. It is it is good. It is cool. I like a good photorealistic game, but I also like a good game that is not photorealistic. So, um, you know, I, I want the cry people to continue to develop photorealism because it's awesome. But I don't want every video game to one day be like this, because that like imagine Mario, Super Mario Brothers in a photorealistic world. It just literally wouldn't make any sense. Um, all right. Oh, we're making progress. Oh, that's one of our dudes. That's one of our guys. What the heck? There is a frozen boat on a tropical island. I've lost our secure channel to JSOC. Too much electrical interference on this island. Hey, boss. I got something. Topographic map. There's an area highlighted. Ooh, a map. Suddenly, this game becomes like the Goonies, and we're off on some zany treasure hunt with a bunch of uh, misfits to save the Goondocks. Everything you need to know. That's bollocks, and you know it. Aztec is dead, and we. Okay, can I skip this? <laughs> you guys are going on and on. All right, now we have a squad of super soldiers. I'm excited to see what we do as a team, guys. This guy, by the way, is totally chunk. He's the chunk of our of our Goonies misfit band. Oh, what's happening over there? Bloody what? Hell, did you see that thing? What is happening? We gotta find Chester to the east. Let's go. Let's go. Huh? What were the Koreans shooting at? Oh. And I hear like a monster in the distance. Seriously, what is this? I just gotta see with my own eyes. Oh, look, there's boats and stuff. No idea what that was. Guys, it's all clear. Maybe this is where the aliens come in. It'd be awesome to see some aliens bef uh, today. Um, this first level, by the way, is way longer than I thought it would be. I thought we'd do like three or four missions together, but I think we're just going to do one. What the F is that? Oh, wasn't looking. I think we might have found Jester, though, which is the dude we were looking for. Hanging out on a North Korean island. Not cool, man. Not cool. Makes us question your allegiance. Um, oh, he seems to be unconscious and bleeding a lot out of his head. All right, so something's killing super soldiers. Could just be their overconfidence. It looks like he just slipped on a rock. Oh, so he's doing that intentionally. Okay, so the nano suit literally evaporates you when you die. To prevent it from falling into enemy hands. I mean, that make that totally makes sense. Maximum speed. Eyes open. It totally boys. makes sense. KPA comm center. Okay, can we, oh my god, we're still hearing those monster sounds. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the scar. Why not? Scar ammo. We're gonna go ahead and raid the corpse of our fallen brethren. Where'd you guys go? Don't leave me, man. If there indeed are aliens, I'm not gonna be able to face this down myself. Trust me, I had a lot of trouble with the Koreans. Way more trouble than one should have. And anything that can kill this many Koreans scares me. Let's get our shotgun ready. Ready and full of ammo. Uh, anything around here? It's interesting how you can just pick up whatever. No grenades, though, eh? It's like a coffee machine. I... This, this is what I think of your Korean coffee. Kaboom! 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 We're wasting ammo, but it's awesome. We're gonna demolish this whole shack. Oh yeah, there we go. It took one whole clip of shotgun ammo, but it was totally worth it. All right, 
The destructible environments and stuff are just- Oh, look at all these cabbages! Look at all these cabbages. They aren't destructible. They, uh, they had to draw the line somewhere. They were like, you know, cabbage-based destruction, destruction is just not believable in today's modern games. Until cabbage technology catches up with, uh, video cards, we just- we don't want to, like- we don't want to render a destructible cabbage that is kind of a letdown, basically. So we'd rather just not render it at all. Um, I have a Jeep if these guys would like to join me, but they do not seem interested. They're just, like, hanging out over there. Maybe maybe I'm supposed to do this part by myself. Alright, whatever. Like, this Jeep just craves allies. If one or two guys... If one guy was mounting the gunner, gunner seat, how awesome would this Jeep be? It would be freaking insane. Um, okay. So, uh, there we go. There we go, there we go. Oh my god, I almost died. Oh my god, ow. I have three hits left. 18, 23, alright, we're regenerating. Jeez, okay, so there's a sniper up there. I don't like the looks of that. But I also would like his gun. Oh, he's just gone. I thought maybe we could kill him and he would fall- his body would fall down and we could, like, steal his gun. Kaboom! Alright, we are in- we've made contact with the enemy. How about- let's try this on for size. Oh god, they're gonna kill me, though. <laughs> yeah. Get my shotgun out. I wanna lob a grenade at them. Huah! Yeah, run! Run, baby! Oh, yeah! Oh! Okay, that got me too. My bad. I kind of killed everyone, including myself. Stealth. Stealth. I'm literally like running by them. <laughs> grenade! Eat it! Oh! The grenade got me! Oh, ridiculous! Okay, that actually worked pretty well, though, to, like, just stealth past all those- Oh my god, I'm, like, driving into the- Driving into the rocks. Just stealth by all those guys. Or actually, maybe we can just go up here. Maybe I can kind of, like, sneak by them. They seem to be on to me. They're, like, riddling my truck with bullets, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. If only I had a gunner who could kill these guys... Wouldn't that be convenient? Alright, this thing moves going downhill, though. Let me tell ya. Boom, boom! Okay, whatever. We're... It got us far enough. I'm gonna try and do, like, the remainder of this level stealthy, because it turns out I'm not great at the combat. I'm just too reckless. I, like, run into combat, get myself killed. But, uh, maybe I can, like, sneak into it, like, Commando or Rambo style, and, like, kinda, you know, solid snake it up and, like... Do some, like, assassinations and stuff. I feel like that's how I want to play this. See if they allow stealth gameplay. Wow, the water looks really good. See if they allow stealth gameplay in this game. What is that? There's, like, some kind of bird flapping in the sand. This is how the predator works, man. Oh, God, a minefield? Really? Oh, my... Ah. I didn't even think I was in the minefield. I was just going to walk near it. Okay, let's try, uh, speed instead of stealth. Maybe this is what we need. Okay, nobody seems to be here, so I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and steal this bottle of ginger ale. Oh, there's- okay, they see us, they see us. What about this? Oh my god, oh god. This is all mines. Oh. Oh, you know what? I just need to turn my guy on to max armor when I'm in combat, and I'll probably take way less damage. Makes a lot of sense, actually. So, like, I haven't been doing this, but you turn on max armor, and now, now my guy should be like a tank. Now I should be able to, like, take the hits. Now let's give this a shot. Combat mode engaged. I forgot I had it all. He moves so slow, though. Painfully slow, one might say. Ah, oh, damn it! Uh, it didn't make a difference. Maybe if we take this bridge. Okay, yeah, this this bridge is not mined. Grenade! <laughs> All right, that kind of worked. 
Oh, we, we've made it to a checkpoint. Like Boom! Kablamo! Alright. So I was just trying to, like, sneak into the base, but really you just had to go in guns blazing. Hey, wait, who's shooting me? Oh, there's a guy over there. I think. I, I can't tell if any of these are good guys, but I... I guess I've learned that we don't really have any good guys on our team that seem to help me in combat. It seems to always just be me. Nobody else seems to want to come and get their hands dirty. That's fine. It's gonna be me. It's okay. Got my, my trusty shotgun, the only friend who hasn't betrayed me. And going to fast mode. Oh, there's a guy. Oh! I like pushed him down. <laughs> that was actually kind of awesome. I ran so fast that I like literally pushed him down. Startled him. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and get a whole bunch of ammo for our guns here. Alright, this is where I'm most comfortable. Like, bobbing and weaving through urban environments and shotgunning these guys. Although, I'm too far away from that guy. Where, where is he? Where is he? Reveal yourself! Oh god. Okay, run for it. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Use speed to your advantage. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. This is the building I, I was trying to get in. Oh, there's a guy. How did I miss that? Oh, you can grab the enemy? What the heck? Hold on, grab him. Oh yeah, oh, we got him. Oh. <laughs> did I kill him or what? Oh. Boom, there we go, all right. Uh, infiltrate the school, locate the hostage. Oh, what the heck? What the heck got me? Holy crap. Again? Okay, run away. Jesus, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Was it these guys? God, shoot him! God. Oh my god, what is killing me when I respawn? It's like the whole building's collapsing on me. What the hell is that? Oh my god, I just keep dying. You can alter the difficulty from the options menu. Guess what? I think I'm gonna do that. So I thought I could, uh, I thought I could play it on normal. Turns out I can't. I'm, uh, an easy difficulty kind of guy. And I still died instantly! And I still died instantly. What is killing me? What the, oh, is it like a grenade? Oh, it's a grenade. Okay. Well, that makes more sense. It's getting super confused about what was killing me. All right, we're now playing the game on easy. Because why not? Because uh, I feel like, you know, I just, I, at this point, I just want to get a little farther. I just want to get a little, a little farther. What is this? Missile launcher? Yes, I 100% want the missile launcher. And take ammo. You can only carry one missile launcher. Well, that's a shame. Because we're totally going to use this on on someone, man. Okay, who's who's uh, who deserves to be punished with the missile launcher? Reveal yourself. You're getting it, buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> We, I guess we need, like, uh, turrets and stuff, you know, like, uh, encampments of people. Shoot. Boom! And you. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like taking down trees and stuff. That's awesome. They okay, seem to have caught on fire. Yeah! Run for it! <laughs> um, okay, where was that rocket launcher? It was around here somewhere. Alright, did we complete the mission yet, by the way? I think we, we kind of did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, they're they're everywhere around here. Oh, I think we got it. I think we found the doctor or whoever that we're supposed to save here. Boom! Oh! Prop, we've located one of the archaeologists. Archaeologists? This game went all Indiana Jones all of a sudden. What took you so long? Oh man, what took us so long? We were we were working on it, man. We were working on it. All right, enough to more combat. 
Now we have to take out, out a whole division. Oh my god, there's a tank. Boom! Boom! That do it? Nope, it's still alive. Um, oh, what? I died from the fall. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and take out this tank here, but I uh, don't imagine we're gonna have much much success while I am doing so. I think I'm gonna start wrapping my thoughts up on this game because, although I would have loved to see some aliens, it just feels like this level is going on forever, and uh, we gotta call it at some point here. So, uh, Crisis is uh, one of the oh ho, 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 man, we killed that guy with maximum style. Um, Crisis is one of the games in the book, a thousand one video games you must play before you die. And, um, I think I would say that this is a very good futuristic first person shooter game. It, uh, it definitely lives up to its reputation of having, uh, really nice graphics. Oh, I was trying to, like, jump on the tank, but I guess that's not what you do. There must be, there must be some weapon I'm missing. Um, two rocket launchers didn't do anything to it. So there might be something else. Oh, oh look. Missiles. More missile launchers. Frag grenades. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe there's hope. Let's try Let's try and take out this tank. I think we could do it. Uh, let's not just give up all willingly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Eat it. Um, so let's go on the roof. I think the roof will be better for taking out the tank. Um, so yeah, this game looks great. It handles well. The controls are pretty good. I would say it's a, you know, fairly intuitive game in terms of the controls. The destructible environments are awesome. Um, is it, where's the tank? Oh shoot, I just fell off the roof. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, like I was, I was tracking the tank from its treads, which was actually kind of cool. Um... Why don't I see the rockets? I don't know. Okay, let's go back in here and get some more rockets. So yeah, all, like all in all, I think this is like a fun game. Um, definitely seems like a cool game. Um, why can't I pick up more rocket launchers? I don't know what's going on. There we go. Pick up a new missile launcher. There we go. All right. That's weird. It like was not uh, was not appearing in my hands. It's kind of glitched out there. Okay, hold on. Where's this thing? Oh, it's over there. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I, I like I had fun with this game today. My complaints are just two basic ones. One, I wish there was co-op for the campaign, or co-op something. And two, oh god, there's the tank. Shoot, what was I aiming at? What is this? It's another tank. Oh, I died. Ugh, okay, okay. Here are my complaints. You die too easily, even on easy. Uh, I kind of wish you didn't, but you know, like, that's just how the game works. Uh, I'm willing to let that one go. I wish it picked up ammo automatically. That is one sort of minor gameplay complaint. And I know you might say it's more realistic to have the game pick it up for you, but like, I think Blizzard has the best mentality when it comes to this kind of stuff, which is that you make fun gameplay first, and if it's not realistic, you worry about that later, you know? Like, if something is fun or good for a good gameplay mechanic then you include it and don't worry about what's realistic so i think automatically picking up ammo would have been a good addition to this game and co-op those are the only like two real complaints and then the other one is i wish it didn't die so fast <laughs> and that's mostly because i'm just not good enough at this game so we'll let that one go um but yeah um i think in terms of like this game being a must play Oh, I got one! I actually took one down! Sweet! Um, in terms of this game being a must-play, I would say that, like, anyone who's a fan of, like, first-person shooters, if you haven't played Far Cry or Crisis, definitely give it a shot. Uh, it's, you know, again, it still holds up even today, which is pretty remarkable when you think about it, you know? Like, games that hold up even today. Like, it, it doesn't look that bad compared to, like, a modern first-person shooter. And I'm really fascinated by the idea that when they created this, it was so good that, like, most computers couldn't even run it. I don't know where the tank is. <laughs> Having trouble finding this thing. So, so it's got a fascinating development history. It's a fascinating game. Um, and it kind of holds up even today in terms of shooters and destructible environments and all sorts of stuff. You have superpowers with your suit. Cool game. Cool idea for a game. So those are my thoughts on it. What do you guys think here? 
Do you think that uh, Crisis is a game that you must play before you die? Do you agree with my assessment? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, and as always, guys, whether you've enjoyed the game or not, hopefully I have made today entertaining. If you agree with that sentiment, at least, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. I will be back soon with yet another... Oh, there it is. Yet another video uh, in the ongoing quest to play through the book. A thousand more games to just play before you die. So you don't want to miss out on that. And if I could just kill this tank before the video ends, that would be that would be awesome. Oh my god. I think I got hit by a mortar shell right there. Is it dead or not? Oh, it's still alive. <laughs> oh god. Okay, run. I like the ability to like run like the dickens. Okay, we need one more rocket launcher. I think there's one in, in here somewhere. Oh no, I took them both. Crap. Also, you know, when you know you're gonna go and try and kill a tank. Maybe take more than one rocket launcher. Like, don't just take one. He has some, like, personal code. It's like the Bushido samurai code of only taking one rocket launcher at a time. It's more honorable or something. But, like, man, when you know you're going to need more than one, bring more than one. Just saying. Boom! Oh, he's still alive. Oh, my God. Did we get him? Destroy the KPA tanks. We did it! We did it! North Korea has no more tanks. Game saved. All right, guys, we're ending on a high point. You guys all take care of yourselves, and uh, we'll see you in the future. Peace.